Hi everyone and welcome back to Baby and Sunshine's YouTube channel. Today we're gonna talk about baby bath time and before I was a mom I would have never thought that this is a science in itself so but before I had my child who was now two and a half years old my husband and I would research the best bathtubs we would spend hours watching these YouTube videos of moms explaining how they organize their diaper caddies and it was such an inspiration for me so I learned so much from that and um, I would like to share these tips with you so hopefully it will help some of you out there. So first of all, it's uh, important to know that there are obviously different stages of a baby's development and you kind of have to go by that. First, it's really important for you to pick an infant bathtub because obviously babies when they're born, they can sit at the beginning so you can't just throw them in the adult bathtub. You have to find an infant bathtub that they can lay in. I personally had one that I loved. It was uh, from the company Four Moms. However, I heard that they discontinued that one. But the features I liked, I'm pretty sure you can find in other bathtubs that are on the market. What I liked a lot about it is that it would show the temperature and it would show you if you're in the green or in the red because obviously you do not want to burn those little feet and it's really important to keep them at the right temperature. And also it had these little plugs where you were able to either hold the water in there like a little bath or where you could drain it and refill it and that's really important because keep in mind you're going to be cleaning a lot of poopy butts so you might not want them to lay in that water um, for a long time so you're able to drain it off. Look here's my cat in the background because I'm not only a mom of a human I also have three fur babies so if you hear a dog barking or meowing you know it's them. But anyway so I love that bathtub I would look for some with similar features like that. Also keep in mind when your baby is just born and they still have part of the umbilical cord in their belly button to not wet that part because it's like a hole in their body. But what you can do is you can lay them in the infant tub and give them little sponge, sponge baths. I, uh, my child was one day longer in the nursery so my husband and I were visiting him in the nursery and we saw all these newborn babies come in and we saw the nurses sponge, sponge bathing them which helped us a lot learn from it and I don't know how it is right now with COVID-19 chances are parents are not allowed anymore in the nursery but maybe you can look that up or you're a mom you're gonna your intuition will show you how to do it but you can get a sponge with warm water and just clean your baby off and make sure to not go to the belly button as long as the umbilical cord is still in there and what I would always do is for me it was the easiest way to just bring the infant bathtub to the sink and fill it up in there. And that would also be very good for my back and for my knees because I didn't have to kneel down, I didn't have to hunch over, I would just stand there. But it also meant um, there would be some setup involved. I had to bring the bathtub over there. So you have to be very organized. You wanna make sure everything is in one place because with your mom brain, the last thing you wanna do is look for a bunch of things. And that's where my next thing comes in. It's a uh, the number one tip I can give you for baby bath time is to have an organized bath caddy, which is basically you can take one of those diaper caddies. I love the one from Baby and Sunshine. It's such a good quality and it looks like a super nice beach bag or something and God knows I love the beach. And also it has this divider in there. I don't know if you can see it. And this divider, you can take it out if you don't like it and just have the whole bag for yourself. I personally like it because it helps me be more organized that you can have different compartments so you can say okay one is the stuff like the shampoos and everything that you need during the bath then some stuff is for after the bath and you can be more organized yourself and just to give you a few tips I want to sh share with you what I put in this caddy and then you'll be all set to go and uh, baby bath time each night will be easy breezy for you mom. So obviously what is very important is to have a baby friendly wash and shampoo. I like this one here from Johnson, but there's also the Honest brand. I would also buy a conditioner. I'm a boy mom and I think it's still it's very nice for his hair that his hair is soft. So I have a few of those in here. I have some washcloths to warm him off with. Make sure you also have a little cup with you, a little plastic cup. It usually comes with a bathtub. I don't have it here right now, but this can help you just fill some warm water in it and pour it over your baby and help him wash it. I also have some body lotion for after the bath, which is also very important that you pick at the beginning um, a baby friendly lotion. So for during the bath time to entertain them, 
I have some bath toys in here too. And um, so here's one thing I want to mention. I know a lot of parents love these little squeezy toys that have a hole in it. I do not like these at all. And I know the thought of it is very cute and um, the idea behind it is very creative. However, the execution is not so good because the reason is that there's a hole in it and you put water inside it. And no matter, matter how much you squeeze it out, no matter how much you clean it, there will always be some sort of wetness in there. And wet plus dark means it can create not only dark mold, which is super dangerous, but other bacteria. If you squeeze it on your baby, they can get several illnesses, including pink eye and all nasty stuff. So I would not advise to buy these anymore. I would buy toys that do not allow water to get in. For example, my sister got me these. She ordered them online. They used to glow, but now they don't do it anymore. I'm pretty sure I could change the batteries. But you know, these here do not have a hole in it. My son loves to play with them. Now that he's a little bit older, I have some toys. For example, this Mickey here, when you do that, he will start swimming in the water. There are a ton of ideas out there, so I would advise you to stay away from the ones with a, to with a hole in it. Then what you also want to have in your caddy is everything for after bath time. If you do bath time right, bef uh, right before bath time, you want to make sure you get your baby ready on time. I mean, first of all, you need diapers, super important, obviously. You do not want them to pee on you, so you want to put those on right after they're done. I like to use Vaseline, so I put that in here, but I know some of you prefer butt cream or rash cream or whatever you have, so put that in there. And I put in there a toothbrush so I can brush the teeth right away. You can take like a little, one of these little things to see how long it will take. And a brush for the hair too. Um, so for boy moms, <laughs> I know there are these little cups that they started developing for the market where they look like a little football that's cut in half and that are soft that you can put on the baby's private parts so they do not pee on you. I had these and I can tell you you will get peed on no matter what. It's a rite of passage. You can try these if you like while you change them, and uh, but it will happen, keep in mind. So make sure you have a ton of baby wipes in there as well so you can clean everything up, including yourself, including the baby, and make sure they're nice and fresh. And last but not least, you want to make sure to dry the baby off as soon as possible. You know, their immune system is still pretty weak and you want to make sure they're nice and cozy. And I personally love hooded towels because not only do they look super adorable, you see they put these little ears on them like an animal, but they also keep their hair warm right away and to make sure, you know, that's not very good for them if they're exposed to colder air from the air conditioning and their hair is wet. So Baby in Sunshine has these towels that I love because they're a lot softer than all the other store-bought towels I have. And um, they're also longer, they look super cute. I would advise you to take a look at them. And if your baby's hair is a little bit longer, also make sure to blow dry them right after. Just make sure they're not, they don't stay wet at all for a long time. If you blow dry them, please make sure the temperature is okay and that they cannot touch the outlet. And talking about safety, there's one last thing I really need to mention. And I do not wanna be a negative Nancy, but it's just so important, please, never ever leave your child unattended in the tub not only for a few seconds because you forgot something trust me it won't be important you can ask somebody else whatever you do do not leave them unattended um, drowning accidents can happen in a heartbeat i personally know parents that it happened to them and they weren't negligent it just happens so quickly and you cannot control it. So please take my advice and do not leave them alone, even if it's just a few seconds. So all right, I hope these tips helped you. Let me know if you have any other cool or fun ideas what to do for baby during bath time in the comments. And thank you so much for listening. If you'd like to follow Baby and Sunshine on Instagram, look for baby underscore and underscore sunshine. And if you'd like to follow me, look for the Miami Mommy, mommy spelled M-A-M-I underscore on Instagram. Thank you for listening and have an awesome day. Goodbye.